Hi, an important analysis on Darlington amplifier. So starting from how the circuit looks like and uh, some important points to be remembered for the beginner um, transistor made used in, let's see what configuration is that. So two transistors like this one, two transistors with the emitter over here, see input will be given to the base and output is output of Q1, output of Q1 is collected across emitter, right? And again, uh, we have the second transistor over here. Once again, input is given to the base and output will be collected across the emitter. Both the collectors are connected to plus VCC for proper biasing. We need that biasing, isn't it? So this is a package like we have the uh, two transistors connected back to back like this one. And uh, yeah, this configuration, this arrangement is known as a Darlington amplifier with a very high input impedance. Let's prove that uh, whenever we are in requirement of a high input impedance amplifier, we go for Darlington amplifier. So with a very high input impedance, R in one, something like that. Let's prove what it is. And here we have two transistors. Even both the transistors are in common collector configuration Q1 and Q2. How to say that? Uh, how to decide from that? Yeah, there is a uh, beginner, there is a confusion like um, by default they give a wrong answer which configuration is that. Input is given to the base, output is collected across the emitter. Input is given to the base and output is collected across the emitter. It's a common collector configuration. It's not that necessarily that terminal should be grounded. No, it's not that. Input is given to the base, output is collected across the collector that will be common emitter. Okay, so here input is given to the base, input will be given to the base, output is collected across the emitter and so it's a common collector configuration. Okay, so uh, this will be the arrangement, we need to connect uh, low resistance, it's uh, textbooks from the uh, renowned authors, they say that it's RE, why because it's uh, given to the emitter RE, alright, and this is grounded and across which, yeah, emitter, output is collected across the emitter V0 and we have a positive and a negative like that remember that and the in the signal to be amplified is given over here okay mm, okay let that be and uh, we have two stages uh, stage one q1 and stage two q2 so guys there is uh, the expert says this can be like the analysis of the second stage can be uh, carried out using approximate hybrid model model and this one making use of exact model making use of exact model right so is that a uh, randomly done or uh, do we have any justification for that there's a question right generally there are some students in the class so why that why not the reverse we have a reason for this one so this is the low resistance of uh, uh, the second stage Okay, the load resistance given the name RE, but uh, why RE? Because it's given to the emitter. It's a load resistance of the second stage. And when we have the transistor, when we purchase the transistor, the manufacturer will be providing uh, the hybrid parameter values HOE, HFE, HRE, HIE, etc. In common empty configuration, it's readily available. Okay, so in that case, uh, HOE, we have the we have the value of HOE. Of a transistor that will be given by the that will be uh, furnished by the manufacturer so if we select the value of re in such a way that if you select the value of re externally connected load okay it's not internally or virtually appearing we can we have the independence of selecting the value of re and if the value of re is selected in such a way that the product hoe into re less than or equal to 0 0.1 we can go for the approximate analysis and that doesn't happen with this is first stage why because the low resistance of the first stage will be appearing over here at this point c at this point and it's a virtual okay we don't have any physical resistance over here but if we if we measure a resistance from this point to the ground which will be the low resistance of the first stage it's a virtual one and that won't meet this requirement we have no independence of selecting yeah it's we have a, we don't have a physical resistance over here it's a virtual resistance there is a resistance from this point to this one uh, which does not meet that okay so for that reason um, we have independence to do something over here to achieve that one so we go for we can go for a approximate hybrid model whereas no we don't have that one so we have to go for exact model the analysis should be carried out making use of exact hybrid model 
so keep that in mind and we have a positive over here we have a negative even this does matters um, like that okay and uh, approximate hybrid model how it looks like approximate hybrid model uh, beginner is suggested to have a look through that approximate hybrid model please okay so straight away coming over here yeah that part will be completed if you are if you are going through this topic you might have completed that one hybrid parameter so how it looks like the picture is like this one um, the picture will be like this one with the base um, IB will be flowing we have a uh, HIE no time to uh, go through this one again I'm sorry okay the focus is completely on this one it will be length here uh, we have already done this one I'll provide the link okay so here we have the collector uh, through which IC will be flowing and uh, we have that current generator HFE IB over here and this will be the emitter part emitter terminal I remember all the all the currents will be towards the node this one this 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 in the sense uh, important one um, i b plus i c plus i e equal to zero very much important okay make sure that all the it's like uh, yeah we have analysis for that but remember as far as this analysis is concerned right now okay you have seen the picture let me make use of this place i need this place okay so both the transistors both the transistors has, are in common collector configuration emitter follower in other name for common collector configuration okay so this has to be redrawn this has to be and remember r is connected to the emitter and to the ground okay so remember keep that in mind and this has to be reduced this has to be arranged for common collector configuration this one can be made used in all the three configurations but the work we are working on common collector configuration so up to and in common collector configuration input is given to the base and output is collected across the emitter and collector being short circuited will be common to both input and output right so uh, repeat what is that input is given to the base base over here if we have if i say that the base is over here input is given to the base and so ib will be flowing so this will be the base part and uh, what we have in the base terminal it's a hie all right and uh, this point let that be this point um, output is input is given to the base and output is collected across the emitter so we have the emitter and let's make sure that this is the this is the node okay this is the node common node and ie will be flowing through this side so ib towards the node ie also towards the node guys and this collector this stupid collector is common to both input and output okay and what else do we have ic will be flowing through the collector with the hf e i b right so this is the uh, reduced uh, from that one, redrawn for common emit, common collector configuration the same thing this same thing can be used for com all the three configurations okay so this is the one now uh, where did we have that re we had re across this point isn't it re across this point it's a we had re over here re across which we had v naught with a positive and a negative ie so watch carefully i notice output current i naught in this direction we have a uh, even this is one um, i naught and i are against each other so i naught will be equal to minus i e remember this one even this to be like you need to have a clarity on that one okay so v in it's a vb something like that for um, yeah it's okay like deriving that important ratios and something like that isn't it so v in over here as far as this circuit is concerned v naught across this point and v in over here right they start with the they start with the uh, current gain of the stage ai ri all like that so what is ai so ai is the definition output current i naught by i b so guys uh, i naught we don't have any uh, nothing to do with the i naught so that i naught written in terms of i e then this ratio uh, minus i e upon i b okay so this ratio even this ratio we don't have an idea on this one so we have the parameters in terms of ie and ib so this is the transformation uh, making use of this one what is that so what will be ie from that one this one ie uh, from that it's a negative of ib plus ic all right so ie exercising on we need we are in search of this ratio okay so ie uh, 
negative as it is IB and uh, IC IC is equal to HFE IB that is written over here plus um, remember this one what is that I2 from the H parameter equation the second equation H2 is equal to H21 I1 plus H22 V2 right when uh, four H uh, the all the four H parameters are evaluated making I1 equal to 0 once and I2 equal to 0 once isn't it so when V2 output is open when output is open we don't have this anymore so we have a uh, H21 which is equal to HFE which is equal to I2 by I1 which is equal to IC by um, what is that output current uh, as far as this circuit is concerned IE by I this one okay so uh, did I confuse you we have yeah uh, we have uh, um, IC is equal to HFE IB okay we have this one right IC is equal to HFE IB uh, that is plugged over here um, HFE IB taking out IB we have IE on the side negative also we have IB as common 1 plus HFE over here so what are we in search of negative IE by IB which is equal to 1 plus HFE guys this is the negative IE by IB 1 plus HFE the current gain of the first stage sorry the second stage making use of approximate analysis all right and uh, the second parameter to be evaluated is uh, uh, r in 2 right r in 2 uh, what is that uh, input voltage by this one okay input voltage by this one um, r in 2 input resistance of the second stage r in 2 and so we have r in 2 it's a current generator we don't have any drop it's a current generator we don't have any drop so here um, so start from here start from here let's uh, let's go for a closed circuit okay v in with a positive c with a negative okay it's a voltage so start from here we have this drop we have this drop come back to this and yeah it's a closed circuit so how can that be written as uh, v in v in is equal to uh, this drop okay v in will be equal to this drop plus this drop all right and uh, v in how can that be written as h i e i b plus um, this one this one v naught this one v naught this drop plus this drop so that will be i naught okay let me tell you something over here which is equal to v naught now what is v naught over here v naught is equal to i naught yo i need this one okay i need this one what is that v naught is equal to i naught into r e isn't it this voltage drop guys and uh, i naught is equal to negative i e r e so guys this one this ratio um, came into existence how a positive v naught positive i naught into r e and which is equal to negative i e into r e by because uh, um, i naught and i are against each other right is that clear so a, what if what if we had uh, what if we had a negative voltage sorry i need that one okay in the next uh, analysis next first stage we need that one it's a positive so we had positive and this is this was negative all right so what if we have mine what if we come across here during this journey we came across positive v naught positive voltage and so this came into existence what if we have v naught negative v naught then we would have had uh, negative i naught re which is equal to positive i e re right make use of this one okay please make use of this one this one we need this one i won't erase that one so v naught in the place of v naught what can be written it's a uh, this one right it's a <clears throat> in the place of uh, uh, v naught we can write that for uh, positive i naught into r e all right so upon i b on either side upon i b on either side upon i b 
right? So we don't have this anymore. Here, this gets cancelled. H I E. So guys, uh, I not by I B or negative I E by I B. Even that is A I. So what is this ratio? What is this ratio? I not by I B. I not by I. I not by I B. It's A I. So what do we have? This one appears as it is H I E plus. This one, this is this stupid is A I from this one. See, can you see this ratio? I not by I B. I not by I B. So A I into R E, the low resistance. Okay, and uh, oh, V in by I B, which is equal to R in two of the second stage, which is equal to um, H I E as it is plus A I is one plus H F E. 1 plus HFE into RE. So guys, in some some authors stop over here. Some authors make even more small reduction, which is approximately equal to when compared to when compared to this term. When compared to this term, uh, this is they say this value is very much lesser when compared to this one. HFE of a transistor is very much higher. Even RE, it's like a higher value, so approximately equal to one plus HFE into RE. Only some um, five percent error exists with this one, with this approximation, which can be accepted. They say, right? Yeah, even this one, you stop over here, no problem, or else give the uh, conclude this one, saying that this this product one plus HFE into RE is very much higher than this one, so HI can be neglected. Right. So this is the uh, what is that um, current gain expression for current gain and input resistance of the second stage. All right, input resistance of the second stage. So guys, um, the second stage we have to make use of the uh, exact hybrid model. All right, we have to make use of the exact hybrid model, and once again we'll be in need of all these. What was that? Um, uh, what was that AI? AI was, uh, let me write down, AI was 1 plus HFE, isn't it? And what will be RN? Um, RN2. This expression is for RN2. All right. So we need this one. We need to plug in. Let me tell you where to plug in. Coming back to the circuit, the first stage is this one, isn't it? Here, like that one. Um, uh, where do we have this one and uh, this is given as input to this one isn't it it's redrawing the circuit plus VCC so guys R in 2 R in 2 input resistance of the second stage R in 2 will be appearing over here R in 2 will be R in 2 is the input resistance of the second stage Q2 all right, which will be the low resistance of the first stage Q1, which will be the low resistance of uh, in the sense RL1. Why? Because uh, um, input is given to the base and output is collected across the emitter of this one. So obviously this will be the place where the low resistance appears. Okay, and uh, R into input resistance of the first stage will be equal to the low resistance of the second stage. Here it ha it happens over here. All right, so RL1, RL is this much, which is equal to RL1, okay, RL1. This can never be less than or equal to 0 0.1. This product can never be equal to, how can that be? It's insane if you have, uh, like, no, HFE is very higher value. And no, no way that uh, low re the RL1 can never be less than or equal to 0. And so we have to go for the exact hybrid model exact hybrid model analysis right so this is the reason and remember this one this comes into the picture rl r in 2 will be equal to rl1 don't get confused with that one. so now it's time to consider the exact hybrid model so once again i'm not drawing i'm not deriving that one okay you need to have a prior idea of how the exact hybrid model and that too in common emitter configuration why because that picture can be made used in all the three configurations so how it looks like here We'll be having the base with the IB flowing with the HIE and that common point and uh, what? 
we have a we have this one color emitter being common to both input let me and also i'm sorry we have that uh, um, h r e v c e in the exact hybrid model and uh, we have the collector terminal across which the output is collected with the ic flowing and uh, what we have the current generator h f e i b and we also have this one h o e and uh, v c e with the positive over here and that's the picture okay commonly all these collect all these are given commonly to the now here we have the emitter grounded and emitter is common to both input and output so this is the complete picture uh, please practice how it came into existence from the two port networks etc okay so guys this is for the common emitter configuration yeah this picture can be made use for all the three configurations and remember it's a positive and we have a we have a positive and a negative over here okay so make a note of that one now this can be redrawn for common collector configuration even the first stage is common collector isn't it so up to a small a small change over here okay uh, commonly like uh, um, a common point here yeah? a common point a common point like this one a common point and now this is the emitter okay now this is the emitter now what to be done is here this node remember this node remember this polarity okay we have the positive across collector and uh, negative like that remember that okay now it's a common collector configuration so input is given to the base output is collected across emitter now it's a common collector so it's like this one it has to come down all right this has to flip down this has to this as it is uh, input is given to the base output output will be collected across the emitter that's okay but this terminal has to flip down like this one so let me draw that uh, v with the base we have a h i e i b flowing and even this drop h r e v c e all right and uh, <clears throat> this node and we have that emitter as usual emitter and even this current to the towards the node and even this current towards the node i e remember that one the same thing which i have written from the beginning all right now what happens is this one like flips down like this one as it is so here we have a uh, this comes down this goes upside down so like this one okay it, it, we don't remove this one but just this flips down this is the this is where the confusion a beginner like it's quite confusing point this one this flips down as it is so how to draw that one if this comes down in a reverse order so it goes up isn't it h f e i b and uh, this one so we are done with this one this one uh, we have h o e right and this is this that collector now the collector is common to both input and output all right and uh, yeah where is that positive we have we see h o e to the collector h o e to the collector we have a positive over here negative over here we have v c e the same thing over here the same thing uh, r into one plus h f e into r e we need this one we need to plug in over here and we see the same thing like the same it's it appears over here it's parallel isn't it v c e with a negative and with a positive now we have to make use of this one we have a, a v not it's a output voltage we have negative over here now this comes into the picture all right so this is across that virtual r l1 comes over here R L one, R L one, which is equal to R in two, which is equal to one plus H F E into R E. Okay, we have this one. Now this is the one. Now analysis carried out for this one. All right. So hope you understood how to reduce the circuit to its uh, common collector configuration. Guys, the picture redrawn for convenience. Uh, we start with uh, A I. one for the first stage approximate analysis for the first stage and once again it's uh, i not by ib 
which is equal to negative i e by i b so evaluating this ratio will give us the uh, current gain expression for the current gain of the first stage remember we have a negative vce guys see one thing uh, like uh, if it would have been if we had positive vc over here positive vc over here if we would have had this one so that would have given us i naught into rl1 positive voltage is equal to i naught into rl we have negative negative vc so here in this arrangement vc e will be equal to negative of uh, i naught r l1 from this very arrangement see if we had had if we had had a positive voltage that would have been we uh, that would have been positive i not rl but we have a negative so we see will be uh, against each other okay and another point is a uh, i not will be equal to negative i e so these one making use of that one okay so uh this one uh, what about ie from that very expression all the three currents are sum of all the three currents ic ic flowing over here ic so what do we have ie will be equal to negative of uh, ib plus ic all right so ic after this node after this node it splits into this current and this current so how to write down that one A negative this negative exists as it is ib no change plus i c this current plus this current what is this current it's a h f e i b all right plus h o e v c e all right now this v c e in the circuit we have negative v c e okay in the circuit we have negative v c e uh, that we see according to this arrangement we have a uh, uh, this v c e that will be we have this negative as it is we didn't do anything with this negative okay ib plus hfe ib uh, plus hoe and this vce this vce is plugged in with from the circuit okay against each other uh, negative i not into r l1 all right close the bracket now uh, negative i not negative i not that will be positive i e from the circuit like against each other so i e i not will be negative i e i e will be equal to negative i not so uh, what to do is uh, it's uh, i e which is equal to negative i b plus h f e i b plus uh, h o e as it is this negative i not is plugged in with i e into r l 1 r l 1 is this resistance okay this close bracket so uh, what do we have i e which is equal to which is equal to now this negative is applicable for this this and this all right so how to write down that one so guys negative is applicable to this this so taking i b as common from here and here what do we have negative i b into 1 plus hfe 1 plus hfe from this one okay from these two this and this and we have a negative negative hoe ie rl1 which gives us uh, what do we have which gives us this is negative uh, towards this side that will be positive all right shifting this to this side that will be positive and taking out i as common from this and this i e as common from this and that will be having one plus it's negative coming this side is positive isn't it h o e into r l1 which is equal to negative i b into one plus h f e all right so what are we in search of this one negative of this ratio so this i b negative i b over this side that will be negative i e upon i b will be equal to 1 plus h f e upon 1 plus h o e and r l 1 is this one okay r l 1 is that what is that uh, into 1 plus h f e into r e okay don't mind it's a r 
e all right so some author suggests that uh, this one 1 plus hfe approximately equal to hfe hfe very higher value so this one this ratio is nothing but ai or the first stage ai1 which is equal to 1 plus hfe upon 1 plus this one approximately hoe as it is hoe 1 plus hfe approximately equal to hfe into re so that is the ratio for the current gain of the first stage all right so that one and uh, how about r in 1 r in 1 uh, evaluating for r in 1 going back to the circuit again so we'll be having v in over here for this circuit we have v in over here isn't it so it's a voltage drop now finding out the drops what is that see this voltage drop see this voltage drop equal to this drop and guys i am very sorry i'm very sorry we have uh, what in the exact analysis in the exact analysis we have this one also i'm sorry we have uh, this uh, h r e v c e which will be neglected so usually we don't consider that one right so um, usually even after we write down this one this product this drop is so small h r e is uh, 0 0.24 into 10 rise to minus 4 10 rise to minus 4 times very small so that will be neglected so writing down this one this voltage drop is equal to this drop plus this drop and this drop all right it's a uh, it's a current okay it's a current so we don't need that one and okay like uh, yeah this arrangement okay, how, how to write down that one v in this voltage v in will be this voltage drop is equal to this drop what is this drop uh, h i e i b all right plus this drop h r e v c e come uh, like that so we are touching with the negative v c e all right we are touching with the negative v c e uh, be careful with that um, I, I focused completely on this one where the analysis goes wrong and yeah this is very so small this is very so small when compared to all these voltage drops so that can be neglected so v in v in will be h i e i v negative uh, guys negative as it is okay so what uh, we see how are vc and i not related to each other it's a uh, vc negative i not into r l1 all right and uh, uh, what do we have is h i e i b plus i not r l1 okay this negative and this negative that will be positive which is equal to v n so i b dividing the entire expression on either side with i b i b by i b by i b so guys what happens this gets cancelled isn't it this gets cancelled we don't have that anymore so what is this ratio v in by i in it's a resistance input resistance and that is a r l1 all right uh, i'm sorry <laughs> what is that stupidity it's r in one r in one all right so it's a h i e plus guys what is this it's a ai 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 current gain i not by ib current gain of first stage multiplied with r l1 which is equal to r in 1 all right so plugging in all the values uh, all the values in the sense uh, uh, that current gain which we have derived just now that that one so r in 1 input resistance of the first stage input resistance of the complete configuration which is equal to um, h i e plus uh, ai1 this is ai1 okay this is ai1 ai1 uh, it's a 1 plus hfe ai1 upon 1 plus hoe hfe into re hey, what about this one rl1 rl1 what's that rl1 was a uh, uh, once again 1 plus hfe into re so guys uh, uh, some authors some experts consider all the thing or else they neglect this one 
why because this is a big one hi is very small when compared to this ratio so rn 1 which is equal to 1 plus hf e whole square re upon 1 plus hoe hf e into re this expression for uh, one is for the current gain of the first stage and this is the input resistance of the first stage which is the input resistance of the entire configuration this this number this the quantity is very high and so we can say that the input impedance offered by a Darlington amplifier is very high right guys uh, we'll come up in the next video with the voltage gain and output resistance thanks for watching stay tuned with the channel thank you